become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. Do you know Mark? Yeah, he is a nice guy. He is very helpful and always bends over backward to help those who are in need of help. Can you introduce him to me? Sure. Sorry. The car breaks down and it needs to be repaired. Knock on wood. But I have a very important date. He's been compared to Rimbaud, you know. You mean as in Sylvester Stallone? No, you idiot. I mean the poet, Arthur Rimbaud. R. I. M. B. A. U. D. Don't do that again. You are riding the tiger. No problem. I can deal with it well. You will ask for it. All is best now, isn't it? What do you think of Dr. Thompson? I feel confident of his ability to cure my daughter's disease. How can you be so sure? I can tell form the way he spoke to us. Never believe his words. Can we sit on the grass, darling? No, you can't, darling. The grass is wet. Look, darling. I can see a bench near that tree. No, you can't. The bench is wet, too. It's not raining, darling. The bench isn't wet. Can't you see a notice on the bench? Yes, I can. What does the notice say? It says, wet paint. How did you meet your boyfriend, Cindy? We were in the same science class last term. Who made the first move? I did. Wow. It was no big deal. What do your parents think of your dating a boy? They're glad that I finally got a boyfriend. They're glad? Hey, look over there. It seems that there is something interesting going on. Let's go and have a look. Sure. It's probably a skiing show. Adam told me there are many skiing clubs whose members put on shows to attract more visitors. Look at that. It's so dangerous. My mom would never allow me to do that. Stop all this fuss and enjoy the show. You are right. But what if an avalanche happened? They are all great skiers and very experienced. So I suppose the chance for them to be buried by an avalanche is slim. Anyway, the show is breathtaking. By the way, where did they get so much snow here? Well, they have the most advanced snowmaking machine. Do you think the snowmaking may cause pollution? It's possible. Have you heard about Michael's new home? It's in one of the poshest areas in this area. Is he living in the new housing estate in Killington? No, he's living in an old house in Wharton. Do you mean the one near the health center on Old Slate Road? That's the one. His house must be worth millions. That is one of the most beautiful areas in Oxford. The surrounding area is really peaceful, and getting into the city center from there is very convenient. How can he afford that place? He didn't buy it. His grandfather died recently and left him loads of money. Did he know that his grandfather was so wealthy? 
no one in the family expected to get a dime from him. It was quite a surprise. What a lucky man. He still has a complaint though. What's that? He wanted to live right on a bus line, but he doesn't. So, if he wants to take a bus anywhere, he has to walk one quarter mile to get to a bus stop. The poor thing. It must be difficult being him. You can say that again. It's awfully hot. You can say that again. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.